speaker was very sobering because of the message she talks about the choice of the speaker today. I chose that the speaker because I know of her story and um, she is a person who has been through a lot but she has stood up without compromising herself, without wavering from the God she knows, being obedient to every calling of God, regardless of her losing her job as you would because she decided she was not going to compromise herself because she is a Christian and a God-fearing woman, first of all, and everything else falls in place. So I chose her to encourage all of us at Coming Ready, all the women at Coming Ready, that situations will come where we don't know where how it's going to end, we don't know where we're going to be, but because we believe in a God and we have confidence and the faith that He alone knows why we're going through that situation, we want to stay strong. So I brought her here to encourage us because sometimes we are work here at school and nobody knows what we are going through, but we have to do our job. So I brought her here to encourage every single one of us and we have brought the, the, the main idea, the main, the gist of her message was be bold. Be bold but a God-fearing boldness. Do not ever compromise who you are. Know who you are and stay steadfast. And most of all, always put God first in everything we do as women. Because he's the only one who will get us through the difficult times which we know will come. National Women's Day celebrations. She has experienced discrimination at the workplace and came with a message to women in St. Lucia. Okay, the message I want again to get is that in spite of we as women crying out for change, we have to change ourselves. We have to be the ones who need to look within and know what we want. We cannot depend on society to make that change for us. We have to make that change. We have to make that bold step and say we want to do that change for ourselves. The children look up to the teachers. What they see from the teachers is what they are going to emulate. And if you have teachers, because if you have teachers who if the focus is not really on the children, you find those children, especially the young women, they will go along with it. We have so many working young children in this country of St. Lucia. We have the children at the schools, those who are abused. What are the teachers doing when a child comes to them and say, I have been abused or molested by my father, by my brother? They need to take that. We, we are the ones who could actually make that change, starting as the others, as the teachers in the school. We have to make that change on our children seeing that, you know what, my teacher took a step and she went to the relevant authorities where I was concerned and that will empower them. Sometimes they may have a friend who's going through the exact same thing and knowing that somebody helped them out, then they'll be able to come forward to, they'll be able to come forward and let them go regarding the other child that that is happening to. Um, and as you were giving a story, um, you did make references to your own experiences. Mm -hmm. About what gave you the strength to go through this? The grace of God. The grace of God. I, as a, as a Christian, this is what this is what kept me going. I there were days when it was really tough, but I had to remember that the God that I serve, He's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I could ever ask or think of. So this is where I got my strength from. I got my strength from the Lord. to me. 
know that we have a voice. We should not be afraid to speak up. We should not be afraid to compromise ourselves. We should not be afraid because at the end of the day, integrity is what that matters. If your integrity is taken away from you, you could never regain it. And that is my message to women. Stand up for what you believe. Do not let your integrity down for some other person.